This is the Mutya ng Santiago 2021 Preliminary Competitions. Please welcome your hosts, one of Pampanga's premier radio jacks and event hosts, RJ Atlas and the reigning Mutya ng Santiago, Nikita Pearl Tate Muller. Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Mutya ng Santiago 2021 Preliminary Competition. And of course, a special welcome goes to you too, Atlas, here in Santiago City. Thank you so much, Nikita, for the warm hospitality. You know what? I am so thrilled to be here at Santiago City. It is my first time here, actually. So tell us, Atlas, how are you loving our place so far? Well, I've gone around a few places, and all I can say is that I am so wowed with what I've seen so far here at Santiago City, and I can't wait to see so much more in the upcoming days. But of course, the highlight of my stay here is this event. So I'm so excited to host it with you. And I hope that all of you watching us online, at home, or anywhere else for that matter, are also very excited to see all of these 18 mutyas compete in various segments. That's right, Atlas. We just witnessed our mutyas parading their very ingenious, creative costumes. And of course, the recognition also goes out to the brilliant artisans behind all these intricate, wearable pieces of art. That's right. And aside from that, our mutyas will also showcase their toned bodies during the swimsuit competition and their wit as we get to know them better during the casual interview. Indeed, everyone is really up for a jump pack evening. So please join us as we begin the search for the ultimate ambassadors of beauty and goodwill. Once again, this is the, the Mutiano Santiago, Santiago 2021 Preliminary Competition. Welcome back to the Preliminary Competitions of Mutiano Santiago 2021. This event is still part of this year's creative and meaningful celebration of Balamban Festival. This is also another opportunity to showcase our resiliency of rising above the challenges posed by this global health crisis. That is right, Nikita. And yes, we are still very much conscious about the current pandemic. And so we are holding this event following the highest health protocols. All of us here, from the girls to the production team, yielded negative results from the rapid antigen tests conducted by the city health office. So the safety of everyone is well secured. Now moving on with our program, we give the stage to the woman who advocates for the promotion and development of our local tourism. Ladies and gentlemen, to deliver her opening remarks, please welcome Honorable Jomaine Sitan, the chairperson of Sangguniang Pangungsod Committee on Tourism. Thank you very much, Honorable Jermaine Sitan. Speaking of tourism, Nikita, I wonder, what are the tourism pride of the city of Santiago? Well, Atlas, we have a lot to offer here in Santiago City. To name a few, you may want to climb the Dariuk Hill where you encounter the different station of the cross along the way. And on top, you'll feel blessed with the giant image of Our Lady of the Lasalet. You may want to bring as a pasalubang the delicate weave textile from the indigenous people of Gadang and never go home without facing our rice delicacy known as patupat. And in line with that and with the ongoing measure to mitigate the spread of the virus, another thing that I am truly proud of about my place is its effe efficient and effective management of the COVID-19 pandemic. One testament to that is the significant drop in the number of active cases of COVID-19. Wow, that is truly impressive. And by the way, I will definitely try all of those that you mentioned. And also, your local practices may be some of the best, if not the best, that other local government units in the country may wish to learn from. Good job. Well, these best practices are due to the proactive leadership of our beloved city mayor alongside the active and positive participation of every Sanchagueño. It's really a partnership between the government and the people. Truly commendable. Now, speaking of leadership, we now give the spotlight to the best friend of every Sanchagueño. 
ladies and gentlemen, to give the message of the city mayor, I am delighted to call on stage the best friend ng bayan, the honorable city mayor, Engineer Joseph Salvador Tan. Thank you very much, honorable city mayor, Joseph Salvador Tan. And now, let's get back to our competitions. Our Mutyas will aim to bag one of the following awards which will be evaluated using the following criteria. For Best in Festival Attire Award, we have Beauty, Elegance, Poise and Bearing, Relevance to the Theme, and Overall Impact. For the Best in Casual Wear Award, we have Beauty, Elegance and Sophistication, Poise and bearing, and overall impact. For the best in swimwear award, we have beauty, elegance and sophistication, poise and bearing, and overall impact. Their performances tonight will be crucial in selecting the top 10 finalists who will be one step closer to winning the title. And these criteria for judging will be used by the select panel of men and women who shall determine the fate of our Mutyas for tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our distinguished Board of Judges. Mutya number one is Clarissa May Nasuli. So Clarissa is actually a third year student taking a Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English. Now, Clarissa, I'm curious, why did you take up education as your college degree? Mutya number two is Queen Lormaine Fulong. Now, Queen has been a campus journalist, particularly a feature writer, since she was in elementary. In fact, she represented Cagayan Valley for three consecutive years in the National Schools Press Conference. Queen, can you share to us your favorite story that you wrote so far? With me right now is Mutya number three, Christine Joy Quaresma. Christine Joy is an active volunteer in a service-oriented organization here in Santiago City. Christine, what do you get from being a volunteer in different community service activities? Mutya number four is Rainette Therence Gafud. Now, this is Rain's first ever pageant, and she was actually very hesitant to join in the beginning. Rain, what made you finally decide to be with us tonight? Mutya number five is Ella May Cabrera. Ella May is a third year BS architecture student. Ella, what motivated you to pursue this course? With us on stage is Mutya number six, Judy Ann Somera. Now, Judy Ann, I heard that you are a victim of bullying. What advice can you give those people who are experiencing the same thing? Mutya number seven is Julianne Neri. Julianne is a proud working student. That's a tough job, by the way. Now, how do you manage your time in your studies and in your mother's business? Mutya number nine is Shangita Sanger. Now, this is your third pageant, right? I want to ask Shangita, what major preparation did you do for this pageant in particular? That was scintillating. Oh my goodness. I guess that a month-long workout and strict diet plan really did pay off. I mean, impressive body tones, ladies. Good job. Indeed, but of course, it takes more than just perfect body figure to nail that segment. Well, for me, it's really their confidence. Well, you know better than everyone else here, Nikita. I mean, you really did nail that. Winning the Best in Swimsuit Award in 2019. Well, yes. Well, thank you, Atlas. At, and we also want to thank Global Academy of Technology and Entrepreneurship, headed by its college president, for our tabulation tonight. And thank you, too, for joining us tonight. Yes, indeed. And this is the culmination of our tonight's presentation. Worry no more because you will see more of our mutyas and what they have prepared during the online airing of the Grand Coronation Night on July 24, 2021. Well, I can't wait to find another lucky lady who will join the mutya ng Santiago Sisterhood. Absolutely. But for now, it's time to wrap things up. This has been RJ Atlas together with the beautiful Nikita Pearl Tate Muller saying... 
Good night, and God bless us all.